Let's check in with Mary Lee. What are you thinking when it comes to the need and the fire danger here? You know, we are going to see a change in our winds as we look to tomorrow into Wednesday. So all eyes on that could see gusty offshore winds develop. As you know, we're in an exceptional drought, the very worst drought category for most of the Bay Area. Everything is just so dry out there. So I'll be watching that closely for you uh, with those winds that will be kicking up in the higher elevations late tonight, at least like Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, for today, we're looking at cool conditions at the coast with that ocean breeze kicking in, mild around the bay and hot temperatures inland this afternoon. Some spots, some of our hottest spots into the triple digits inland later on today. We've been talking about our air quality. Now, an air quality advisory has been extended for the North Bay and East Bay uh, due to that haze uh, this morning. We did have that haze over the weekend as well. I will say this, some brighter, better news for us. We're going to have that sea breeze kick in and that should help as we go through our day and I'll show you our smoke concentration forecast in just a moment. Speaking about those fire weather concerns again tracking gusty offshore winds that will develop Tuesday night into Wednesday and especially watching the higher elevations for those high winds. Now let's show you a live look with our roof cam and with that fog hard to make out Coit Tower but it's right there. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 50s to mid 60s at this hour so if you are getting ready for for work or getting the kids ready for school. Don't forget that jacket first thing this morning. <laughs> morning. We're looking at temperatures uh, that are on the cool side and we're looking at air quality in the good to moderate range right now. So showing you our smoke concentration forecast as we go through our day. Now stopping the clock at noon and you can still see some haze out there and especially again the North Bay and East Bay and that is why that air quality advisory remains in effect for you. And that's really that haze uh, in the upper levels of the atmosphere but could see a little bit uh, drop down, uh, settle down to the surface. But watch as we go through our day with our smoke concentration forecast at the surface. All of that pushes out of here. So thankfully that ocean breeze will help to clear the skies and bring us some better air quality. As we take you hour by hour as we go through our day, sunshine inland for parts of the bay and for parts of the coast, although some locations along the coast still dealing with that fog. And as we head through tonight into tomorrow, that marine stratus pushes right back in along the coast and around the bay. And looking at a stronger ocean breeze, at least along the coast and around the bay for your Tuesday with temperatures that will be cooler. But again, watching that change in wind, uh, wind direction Tuesday night into Wednesday. Could see some thunderstorms develop up in the Sierra uh, later on today. Sunrise at 626, sunset at 8 p.m. Daytime highs, peninsula upper 70s to low to mid 80s. Mid 80s for Santa Clara and San Jose for the South Bay. And there we go, inland East Bay 90s to triple digit heat as we go through Concord as well as for Antioch. Around the Bay upper 60s in San Francisco, mid 70s in Oakland and mid to upper 80s to low 90s for the North Bay triple digit heat in Ukiah. So a little bit cooler for tomorrow, San Francisco, Oakland and for San Jose. And there we go, inland East Bay about 10 degrees cooler for tomorrow, North Bay into the 80s and 60s at the coast. Let's check in with